Hello and welcome to this video uh, demonstrating how to deploy Mavericks at a safe standoff range. Um, there are some videos and documentation out there but I'm just hoping to maybe clarify it uh, so you can understand it a bit easier. Okay I'm just going to move away from the target area. I have a target set up at steer point 2 and I'm just going to turn away from it and give us some time to set up. So first thing we're going to do is just go into autopilot mode and get our head down in the pit. On the left hand side we're going to change some of the settings for the uh, the TAD. This is not essential but it's um, it'll make it easier to follow where we're going. We're just going to switch off the rings, uh, save that and go back to the TAD and switch off our map. I'm going to use our DMS right uh, when TAD is center of interest, just change the position of our aircraft to the bottom of the hood. Once again, it makes it easier to see. And I'm going to zoom out to uh, 30 miles. Actually, I'm going to leave it at 15. Okay, uh, that's done. I'm going to come over now to the MAV screen on the right hand side. And I'm going to switch on the master arm switch first. And uh, that livens up our screen. I'm going to make it sensor of interest. And I'm going to change the slew rate here from 5 down to maybe 0.5. So I'm going to do that by 0 on the scratch pad, letters, decimal 0.5, and uh, clicking on OSB 8. Okay, so that's updated into our map screen. So when that's done, now we're going to go back to our stores management page and select um, the manually select the profile for the Mavericks. You can see there's six of them there, so we've plenty. I think there's four targets we have to um, we have to destroy. So once that's done, now we should be good. Go back to our TAD page and come back into um, out of autopilot mode. And we're going to turn back onto our steer point. Two. So one of the things we have to do is once we found our targets, we have to ground stabilize the Maverick. And this wasn't clear from the documentation, but the ground stabilization is done by putting the the boat switch into its center position. Now, if you have a hot test like I do, it means it's in its center position all the time. So you're actually not uh, pressing that button. So you've got to rock the switch out of position to its aft or forward position and then back into the center position to um, to trigger it. So uh, an easier way to do it would be if you had a separate button uh, available on your hot test to map that to the rocker center position. Because you've got to you've got to put the rocker um, you've got to center that uh, boat switch for each launch before each launch of the Maverick to ground sta stabilize each one. So we're now pointing at the location I reckon we should be seeing our targets, and I'm going to go center of interest in the hood. I'm going to move our cursor into the position where I know that these things are expected to be, and I'm going to use my TMS up long to um, to set the SOI to that position on the ground and now I'm going to do China Hat forward long to slave the Maverick uh, sensor to that position. So now we're looking at the same position we can look in the HUD and if we look close we can see uh, there's a runway there and just at the um, the distance countdown tab you can see some targets are coming into view so what I've got to do is I've got to move our position to get closer to that so that's that looks pretty good and now I'm going to make the Maverick the sensor of interest and I'm going to rock our our boat switch Okay, so now we've ground stabilized it, and we have to do is we have to um, we have to uncage it, and we uncage it by TMS down short. Oh, first I'm going to zoom in by using China forward. No, that's the wrong one. Oh, 
to make it center of interest. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to start moving our cursors, set it on that point, and we should be good to go. So, you saw there, once I've moved it, I've got to now uh, switch the boat switch very quickly to ground stabilize it, otherwise it moves off. Third one. Okay, we're coming into close distance now. And we might get the fourth one. Slew up to it. Okay, that's four away going to pull away from the target. Took a little bit longer than I expected. Okay, there's four targets. So, uh, the key thing is to, before, once uh, a new Maverick has been selected, very quickly what you've got to do is you've got to um, click the boat switch, or center the boat switch, or toggle it. That's why I think um, having a separate button is actually quite useful. And uh, that prevents the the cursors from moving f away from the target. And then you can release it if you need to by clicking the TMS down short. Uh, slew it. And once it's once it's slewed, it actually remains in that position and you can fire um, at that. And it's um, it should be pretty well locked up by the time it um, hits. So that's um, by way of just very briefly showing how to attack multiple targets. When you get quick at this and you're not having to talk through a video, uh, you'll find that you can do five or six targets very quickly um, uh, and you still have a, a reasonably safe standoff range. Thank you.